Hello, this is Oza Sumcherwa from Motive Center. I just want to share with you some five cold calling tips because this is what I've discovered. People who are in sales, most of them, they suffer from call reluctance. They just don't want to pick that phone to call that stranger. You don't want to call that person that you don't know because you don't know how they will react. And at the end of the day, you are just afraid of rejection. So I want to give you five quick ideas that can help you overcome that fear. Myself, when I was afraid of cold calling, I ended up saying to myself, but look, if I call them and they don't pick my phone, or they reject me, refuse to meet me, I am not going to be arrested for that. I will not be arrested. So what am I afraid of? Why am I afraid? I'm not going to be arrested for making this call to them. So that will give me the courage to keep on making some cold calls. So every moment you are faced with fear, just tell yourself, I'm not going to be arrested for that. I'm not going to be arrested for this. Then number two, I started telling myself, okay, if I make this call and I don't succeed, I don't manage to win this client. This client wasn't mine in the first place. They were not my clients. So I can't say I've lost something. I haven't lost anything because they were not my client in the first place. I was just attempting to get them. Because many times as salespeople, when you fail to lend a client, you feel down, you feel like you are a failure and you discourage yourself. No, they were not your clients in the first place. So pick that phone and call them. That calling is what is going to increase your chances of having them as your client. But if you don't manage, they were not your client in the first place. So you see, this is just a change in mindset. You are, you are changing the way you are looking at things. I like what was said by uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer. He said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So in this case, you're just changing your perception about making a call. You're just changing your perception about cold calling. Then number three, you need to tell yourself that you want to help them. As you are picking the phone to call that prospect, you want to help them because you know the importance of your product. You know how your service is going to transform their business. You know how you are going to transform their lives just by offering what it is that you are offering. So you are going to help them. And when you know that you want to help people, you are not afraid of picking the phone to talk to them because you want to help. Then number four, you need to have overarching goals as an individual. You need to have compelling goals. Because now when you look at your goal, what is it that you want to achieve? What are your financial goals? And then you look at your fear of making calls. And if your goals are more compelling than your fear, you are definitely going to go ahead and make those calls to those prospects. So you need to have goals. A lot of people, they, don't, they go through life crawling upon their hands and knees, defeated and depleted. Why? Because they don't have overarching goals. They don't have goals for their lives. So you need to have a goal. That goal is going to push you. Because when you have a goal and the goal owns you, it's the one that is going to push you to take action. So have a goal. Then the last one. You need to have a good script. Many people, why they are rejected? They just pick the phone and say whatever it is that comes to their mind. Not what even comes to their mind, whatever just comes to their mouth. And they try to talk to the client. And when you do that, you are making a terrible mistake because you are standing a high chance of being rejected. So you need to have a good script. What does a good script do? It talks more about the prospect and what they want to achieve more than it talks about yourself. But if you don't have a, a good script, you are going to call the client and start talking about yourself. The client is not interested with that. They are interested in their own success and their own business. So take note of these five ideas to just help you boost your courage, give you motivation to go ahead and make some cold calls. Make sure you subscribe to the link below so that you get notified every time when we send or when we release a new video to give you tips and ideas to help you advance your selling skills until we talk again keep on developing your selling skills